Greetings from Grace Presbyterian Church. I am the Reverend Eric Spoon, and Peanut's here with me today, and we're here to talk a little bit about Scripture. Maybe you've heard about it before, Peanut, about the Bible. I'm sure you have. I'm sure we've talked about it. In the Bible, there's what's called an Old Testament. Have you heard that before? You haven't? I think you have, silly kid. There's also a part called the New Testament. Have you heard of the New Testament? Yeah, I thought you'd heard about that. Well, in the Old Testament and the New Testament, this is where we find what we learn about Christianity, about Jesus. You like Jesus, don't you? I saw you perk up a little bit, didn't you? Yeah, we all love Jesus. Well, in the Old Testament, in the early part, the beginning of the Old Testament, you can ask a grown-up to show you, there's a thing called the Ten Commandments, if you've never heard of those. Well, when we get to the New Testament, where Jesus is, oh, you sure do love your Jesus, don't you? He does. Well, when we get to the New Testament, Jesus is at peanut, you silly. When we get to the New Testament, Jesus... Okay, I think he's done now. When we get to the New Testament, Jesus is asked about which one of those new Ten Commandments is the greatest. Did you know that? Well, let me tell you then. He was asked which is the greatest, and the next thing you know, he says, love God and love neighbor. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is, exactly. Basically what Jesus, oh, I thought you were done doing that. Basically, what he's trying to tell us is that when you read the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament, they can all be found in two different ways of saying it. Love God and love your neighbor. That means make sure that God is the greatest thing in your life and that you love all of those around you. Isn't that wonderful, Peanut? Yeah, it is. So when you're trying to be in this world, when you're going out with your friends or with your family, what are we going to do? We're going to love God. And what else? Our neighbors. Yes. And who does always loves us? Jesus. Oh, yep. I thought I could get one more out of you. All right, Peanut. Can you pray with me and pray with the boys and girls at home? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love and for your blessings. Help us to always remember that you are with us and that we should love God and love one another. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, Peanut, can you say bye-bye to the boys and girls? All right, bye-bye, boys and girls. Have a good week.